I really don't really know what to say here. Um, thank fuck I'm taking a break from this bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the General Jerry channel. Um, Sting lost. Uh, Sting lost. And uh, he looked gassed out. I'm not going to lie to you. Whether it's a work or not. Sting did very well in the match. The only part was when everything fell down was when he was thrown into to the turnbuckle. The doctors had to go to Sting to um, analyze him. Uh, the match was stopped momentarily. Um, and uh, uh, basically, st uh, Seth Rollins won. He beat him. Um, and... Uh, then Sheamus came down with the money in the bank. As soon as I seen Sheamus, I was like, okay, Sheamus is going to cash it in. He's going to win. But, some some mild positivity. Um, the Demon Kane came back. Uh, Kane came down. And uh, he basically beat the living shit out of Seth Rollins. He then chokeslammed him. Then Sheamus came in and he says, fella, fucking hit him again. Kane didn't give a shit. He choke slammed Sheamus. Then Kane um, tombstone Seth Rollins to end the show. Um, so first of all, I think what we've learned from this is that um, Kane is back as his demon persona. Um, no more corporate Kane. So that's a thumbs up because I didn't like corporate Kane. I thought it was shit. <sighs> the only problem is though Sting lost. And... Um, I think Sting has now lost twice in WWE. I think Sting's thinking to himself, why the fuck did I return? Um, I mean, after this, he needs to fucking... He needs to compete against maybe The Undertaker or something, but I'm going to get to Sting's health in a minute. Um, basically, S Sting got thrown into the ropes. He then fell to the ground. Um, if you actually listen to the audio... Um, carefully, Seth Rollins says, get up, get up, for God's sake, get up, um, I believe it's real, um, I believe Sting may have been injured in some shape or form, the match itself was stopped momentarily, and, um, Sting got gassed out during the match, um, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, hallelujah, you know, blah, 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 and people are gonna, like, say, well, Seth Rollins won, or whatever, or, I told you so about Sting, um, I I generally thought Sting was gonna win it. Um, I it makes it makes booking sense. It makes sense. Um, but I think I think Kane should have returned on Raw. I don't think he should have returned in Night of Champions. But like I said, it's good to see him. Um, it might shake up a few things. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Kane now might compete for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Who knows? Um, I think. WWE will reassess about Sting versus Taker. Um, I think that they will look at Sting's performance. Um, I think Sting's performance throughout the match was great. Him jumping off from the turnbuckle to hit him. Um, but I think if it is real that he got gassed out or he was legitimately injured and the WWE doctors had to go to him, then WWE might not make Undertaker versus Sting, uh, which is a sad thing. Um, I hope maybe one day they may do it, but like I said, if it is real, like I said, it's WWE, maybe they added it in for, for extra drama or whatever, but, um, I'm just a little bit better right now due to the fact that Sting didn't win. I think he should have won. I think he deserved to have won. Um, I doubt he'll have a rematch because I think Kane, Sheamus, and Seth Rollins will be involved in a feud. Um, obviously John Cena will do his Open United States Championship match, and, um, on that note, I am glad that I will be going away for a while. Um, I might come back maybe Halloween. I'm not, I'm, I'm not too sure, but, um, I'm glad I'm fucking not covering this horse shit ever again, because Sting should have won, but, like I said, you know, shit happens. Um, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comments below. It This doesn't even deserve a rant, to be honest with you. I might give my opinion on it tomorrow. Um, tomorrow will be my last day on YouTube, and then I will reassess when I'm going to come back. So you can check me out on Facebook and Twitter, on social media, on when I'll be back. 
Um, but yeah, this is complete horse shit. Um, overall, the pay-per-view was good. I will say that it did get me emotionally involved. Unlike other pay-per-views, it it did get me emotionally involved. I think the actual the matches in the middle of the card were actually very very good. Um, but overall, I did not like the finish. Which, like I said, they may carry on to next pay-per-view or build up. But as far as I'm aware, I don't think Sting will be. Um, he may not be on television for a very, very long time. I mean, we might see him at WrestleMania. I don't know. But like I said, we will have to wait and see on whether what he did when he was gassed out or when he was falling to the ground, was it real or was it fake? What I heard Seth Rollins saying to him was just like, you know, get up, get up, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't look good for the Stinger, and um, I think Sting may have to reassess whether he'll go in, he'll come back. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think of the final match. Um, and yes, uh, make sure to uh, take that time to subscribe. Um, I will be back. I th I, I, I'll, I'll, I think I will be back, but I think I just need a break from wrestling, if that makes sense. Um, because I just, I just think this, the finish with this was diabolical. It was completely shit. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Um, what did you think of Night of Champions overall? Uh, my rating for the pay-per-view overall, I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10. A lot of matches was good. It's good to see Sting there. It's good to see Damien Cain there. Um, but... The finish was a little bit better for me. Um, I, I, I honestly wanted Sting to win, but hey, what can you do? Um, but anyway, guys, this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel, signing out.